This lesson is part of our astronomy unit. The title of the lesson is Models of the Solar System. We're going to talk specifically about how our ideas of thought have changed from a geocentric model of the solar system to a heliocentric model of the solar system. So starting out, what was the geocentric model? From here on Earth, it seems as if our planet is stationary and that the sun, moon, and stars are moving around Earth. But is the sky really moving above you? Centuries ago, before there were space shuttles or even telescopes, people had no easy way to find out. Ancient observers, including the Greeks, Chinese, and Mayans, noticed that the patterns of the stars didn't change over time. Although the stars seemed to move, they stayed in the same position relative to one another. These people also observed planets, which moved among the stars. Many early astronomers thought Earth was the center of the universe. Some Chinese observers thought Earth was under a dome of stars. Many Greek astronomers thought the Earth was inside rotating spheres, nested inside each other. These spheres contained the stars and the planets. The geocentric model was the original model, and in a geocentric model, Earth is the center of the revolving planets and stars. Part of the reason that these ancient observations led to some of these theories, some of these hypotheses, was because the sun seemed to move around our planet during the daylight hours. And based on that ob observation, many people thought that the Earth was the center of the solar system. Ptolemy created a model. About AD 140, the Greek astronomer Ptolemy further developed the geocentric model. Like the earlier Greeks, Ptolemy thought that Earth was at the center of the universe. In Ptolemy's model, however, the planets moved in small circles, carried along in bigger circles. Ptolemy's geocentric model explained the motions observed in the sky fairly, fairly accurately. As a result, the geocentric model of the universe was widely accepted for nearly 1,500 years. So this picture shows Ptolemy's model, where the Earth is the center of the solar system. And the moon orbited Earth along with Venus, Mercury, Mars, the Sun, Jupiter, and Saturn. And the reason that those are the only uh, planets and also the Sun that's on there was because those were really the only things we could easily identify in the night sky. So how did the heliocentric model develop? Not everybody believed in the geocentric system. An ancient Greek scientist named Aristocrus developed a sun-centered model called a heliocentric system. Helios is the Greek word for sun. So in a heliocentric system, Earth and the other planets revolved around the sun. This model was not well received in ancient times because people could not accept that Earth was not the center of the solar system. In fact, they thought Earth was the entire center of the universe. The Copernican Revolution The Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus further developed the heliocentric model. Copernicus was able to work out the arrangement of the known planets and how they move around the sun. He published his work in 1543. Copernicus's theory would eventually revolutionize the science of astronomy. But at first, many people were unwilling to accept his theory. He needed more evidence in order to convince people.
Later came Bra and Kepler. Ptolemy and Copernicus both assumed that the planets moved in perfect circles. Their models fit existing observations fairly well. But in the late 1500s, the Dutch astronomer Tycho Brahe made much more accurate observations. This is a picture of Brahe. Brahe's assistant, Johannes Kepler, used the observations to figure out the shape of the planet's orbits. When he used circular orbits, his calculations did not fit the observations. So after years of detailed calculations, Kepler found that the orbit of each planet is not a perfect circle, but rather an ellipse. An ellipse is an oval shape. Interestingly, Bra ended up dying of a bladder infection. During his time, it was customary to not leave uh, the room in which the king was in unless the king left. So while at a party, Bra spent a great deal of time drinking, as many people do at parties, and the king did not ever leave the room. And so his bladder continued to fill and fill and Phil, and he was just stubborn enough to not leave the room because the king was still present. Eventually his bladder burst and he died of an infection. Along came Galileo. In the 1500s and early 1600s, most people still believed in the geocentric model. However, evidence collected by the Italian scientist Galileo gradually convinced others that the heliocentric model was correct. In 1610, Galileo used a telescope to discover four moons around Jupiter. These moons proved that not everything in the sky revolved around Earth. Galileo also discovered that Venus goes through a series of phases similar to the moons. But Venus would not have a full set of phases if both it and the sun circled around Earth. Therefore, Galileo reasoned the geocentric model must be correct. 